Hi everyone, it's Andrew with Novus Computers and NovusComputers.com. On today's Computing 101, we are going to talk about browsers. A browser is one of those terms that gets thrown around a lot, but never really explain. It's just kind of assumed that everybody knows what a browser is and what it's for, which is definitely not the case. I know someone, for instance, who thought that a browser was a person who hacks into computers and looks at people's stuff in their house through their webcam, sort of like a high-tech peeping Tom. Now that is clearly not the case, and the goal today is to help other people who might similarly be confused sort of see the light. So what is a browser? Well, a browser is your window to the internet. In fact, there's a good chance that you're watching this video in a browser. Everybody has their button for the internet, you know, that icon that you click to visit Google or Facebook or any other website at a given time. Well, that icon opens up a program called a browser. And that browser is what displays Google or Facebook or YouTube or knowscomputers.com or anything else for your viewing pleasure. So let's take a look at a couple of popular browsers here and some of the similarities and differences between them. So probably one of the more popular and recognizable browsers out there is Internet Explorer. It's the browser that ships with Windows by default, and if you have a computer with Windows on it, you've got IE. It's typically recognized by being the blue E icon on everyone's desktop, and it's also one of the older browsers available. In fact, it's so old that Microsoft has actually ceased working on it and is instead working on a newer browser that we'll get to in a little bit. One of the biggest selling points of IE is its ubiquity and convenience, which comes by being packaged with Windows by default. There's nothing to download or install. You simply click it, it opens, and you're on your way. That said, Internet Explorer is definitely not without its faults, the primary one being age. IE was first developed back when there weren't really any major web standards that anybody adhered to, and as a result, Microsoft took quite a few liberties with the way they had IE display things. And as time went on, these liberties became more and more of an obstacle for website developers who had to create specialized code just for IE so that their websites would look the same as they did in other browsers. IE supports a limited range of plugins, or add-ons, that are meant to extend its functionality. However, these are typically limited things to stuff like toolbars or special media codecs like Flash. It also, in spite of its integration with Windows, tends to be one of the slower browsers out there, although with more modern systems and internet connections, this is a little less noticeable. Overall, it's the browser that comes with Windows, but there's really nothing else that stands out about it. In fact, it's often the butt of a joke that it's just a plug-in for Windows to actually allow people to go out and download a real browser. This is the new kit on the block. Edge is designed as a replacement for Internet Explorer and is the browser that Microsoft has been working on. Edge is only available on Windows 10, so if you don't happen to have Windows 10, you'll be missing out. Or will you? Edge is still a very raw and a very young browser, and that means it does have some growing up to do. As of a few weeks ago, it just received plugin support, and several of the extensions now available are still somewhat buggy. One of the upsides, however, is that as it is so young, it's much, much faster than its predecessor. In fact, it's one of the fastest browsers available today. Looking ahead, Edge does have promise. However, whether or not that promise comes to fruition will remain to be seen. A browser of champions. Well, not really, but when it comes to extensions and customization, Firefox is definitely one of the best. Developed and maintained by the Mozilla Foundation, Firefox's maturity is its calling card, and with that maturity comes thousands of plugins and themes that allow you to do just about anything and tweak your browser to do everything you want and need it to do. Firefox is also available cross-platform. This means that no matter what device you're using, whether it be a Windows PC, or a Mac, or even a smartphone, you can install and use Firefox, making your experience consistent no matter what device you're using. It's not the fastest browser out there, even less so when you start piling on the add-ons. However, as an everyday workhorse browser, it definitely gets the job done. Firefox can be downloaded from Firefox.com for free, and also has several alternative versions, such as Pale Moon and SeaMonkey. Simply put, Google Chrome is the powerhouse of browsers. It's currently the most popular and most used browser across the internet. 
When it was first released in 2008, it was the fastest browser available. Even today, Chrome boasts speed as being one of its major benefits. As for customizations, Chrome also features extensions and themes to expand on its functionality and change its appearance. Chrome, like Firefox, is available cross-platform, and it also is the default browser on Chrome OS systems and many, many Android power phones. Chrome's biggest downside is privacy, or lack thereof. It's quite often lamented as a browser that tracks your every move and sends that info straight to Google and its advertising partners. Still, that hasn't stopped it from garnering a massive 50 plus percent of the browser market share in the world, and many people still prefer it due to its speed and simplicity. Chrome can be downloaded from www.google.com chrome, and also has several alternative versions such as Chromium and Komodo Dragon. Developed by Apple, Safari is the Internet Explorer for Mac. It ships with Mac OS for Mac computers, and a mobile version ships with all the various iDevices, including iPhones, iPads, iPods, etc. Overall, it's a very basic, no-nonsense browser, and like the rest of the modern browsers in the world, it also contains extension support for additional capability and customization. Safari is only available for Mac and iOS devices. Previously, a Windows version was available, however that has since been discontinued. Safari claims that it is the fastest browser on Mac systems, with up to a 20% increase in performance over Google Chrome. Like Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge for Windows, Safari comes with all Mac computers, tablets, and phones by default, so you can just click, open, and browse. So that should give you a pretty good idea of several of the popular browsers around. Uh, just a quick recap before we end here. A browser is a program on your computer that you use to access and view web pages and websites. Uh, there are many different types of browsers out there. Uh, some come bundled with your operating system while others are available for download. Uh, there's a lot of similarities nowadays between browsers. Uh, however, there are a couple differences, uh, mainly dealing with things like performance and security or privacy. And really what it boils down to is which browser you use, there really is no best browser out there. A lot of it boils down to just personal preference and whichever one you prefer to use. A lot of people prefer using Chrome. Uh, other people will prefer using Internet Explorer. Uh, for instance, my, myself, I'm more of a Firefox guy. Uh, it really all just kind of boils down to you and what works best for you. So without further ado, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I Again, I have been Andrew with Novus Computers. Uh, you can visit the website, which is Novus, N-O-V-U-S, dash is in a hyphen or a minus sign, the word computers.com. Uh, you can also follow along on Twitter, at Novus Computers. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like uh, and subscribe for more. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.